Michael, you got a haircut. Wow, Michael. Good morning, Michael. Good morning. Morning, Michael. Morning, Stephanie. Good morning. Morning, Ruby. <laughs> Ruby, good morning. good morning. Welcome back. Welcome back. Did everyone have a good spring break? Stephanie's not ready to come back yet. Hi, Andre. Good to see you, buddy. Andre. Morning, Andre. Ah, Andre. Good job. How are you doing, Michael? Good to see you. Are you in San Francisco today? <laughs> uh, I like the that's, uh, that's a box I think we have spread because it used to be just. I need to be like this. Well, good morning, everybody. Thank you for coming to school today. We also have our friend Jayla here. Good morning, Jayla. Good morning, Jayla. Um, so let's get started. Happy Monday, and I hope you had a good week off. Happy Monday. <laughs> good. And um, today we are going to have Music Monday, and we're going to learn a new song, Peter Cottontail. And today we're just going to learn it, and next Monday, we're going to use our edge shaker. And um, first, we're going to say good morning, and then we'll get started with today's activity. Okay, so I have four friends today. We have one boy and one two, three girls. There they all are. All right, let's start with the boy since there's only one. His name starts with the letter M for Michael, Mr. Michael Montes. Good morning, Michael. Good morning, Michael. Morning, Michael. Hi, Michael. Michael, did you have a good break? Yeah. Is, there anything, is there anything you want to say to your friends? Yeah, I saw my mom and dad. Okay, thank you. Oh, I'm so glad. I bet they love that. Good job, Michael. And you got a haircut. Very nice. Thank you for coming back to me today. <laughs> So next, there are three, three girls, one, two, three. And let's start with our friend that starts with the letter S. S Stephanie. Good morning, Miss Stephanie. Good morning, Stephanie. And would you like to share out to your friends how your spring break was? You, did you have a good spring break, Stephanie? Yeah. Hey, did you get to see your mom? Yeah. Stephanie. Is that a good oh. Who wants to meet? Uh, Stephanie, you're talking. <laughs> Stephanie. Jump, we're glad Stephanie. you had a good week off. <laughs> Very good. Okay. The next girl I see, her name starts with the letter R for R R Ruby. Ruby. Hi, Ruby. Good morning. Good. And Ruby. Ruby, eyes on me. Hi. Hi. Hi, Ruby. Good morning, Ruby. Hi. Did you have a good week off? Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Good. Did you do good job? Fun. 
Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Did you home? Did you stay home? Yeah. Yeah. I like your nails. And it's pretty. Yes. Good job. Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you for coming to school, Ruby. Okay. Last but not least, we have our friend J J Jayla. Good morning, Jayla. Good morning, Jayla. Morning, Jayla. Morning, Jayla. And Jayla, how was your spring break? Do you want to share anything with your friends? It was good. Did you go anywhere? Or did you stay home? Home. Ooh, did you? We just went to San Diego. We took her to wow. San Diego. <laughs> Did you guys drive or did you fly? You need to use picture. Did you guys drive down there or did you fly? <laughs> My brother lives in San Diego and I prefer to fly because that drive is very long. <laughs> yeah, very lengthy. <laughs> <laughs> very long. My back hurts by the time I'm halfway there. <laughs> All right, Jayla, so good to see you and you look like you're feeling better. Awesome. I'm going to share my screen and we're going to get started. Oops. I was checking out the song earlier. Okay, we're gonna get started with our good morning song. You guys should all be familiar with this one by now. Okay, let me make sure everyone's muted. Thank you. Mute me, Smaggy. Okay, let's turn it up. And we can do our good morning song. If you guys wanna practice some of the signs, Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Miss Betty. Are you ready for a brand new day? Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? How are you? It's so nice to have you here with me today. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Just fine. Howdy, how do you do? Hello, good day. Now that we're together, learning so much fun. The more of us, the better. So come on, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Just fine. Howdy, how do you do? Hello, good day. songs at Walton and even though Jayla and Stephanie wasn't in our class last year I bet you they've heard that song in Sunny's class and teacher Tony's class so that is good okay and this month we are going well actually in the couple weeks in the beginning of April we're going to be celebrating Easter. And you can see the little bunny on the screen, right? So we've learned the letter E. 
And for Easter, you can either shake it back and forth like this, or you can turn it. There's a few different ways for Easter. Okay, and then the bunny, you just cross your hands like this. And those are like the little bunny ears. Isn't that cute? Um, so we're going to be learning Peter Cottontail, and it's a song about Easter. And this week, we are only going to learn the words. And next week, we're going to add our shaker eggs to it. So today, we're going to listen, and we're going to learn the song. So let's listen to it first, and then after that, We'll go over the word. Everybody, very nice. Let's see, I can make this bigger. Okay. Excuse me. So we aren't gonna learn the whole song. <clears throat> We're just gonna learn the chorus, okay? And the chorus is what repeats over and over again throughout the song. So do you guys want to practice singing it together one time? Okay. So if you want to unmute yourself, you can. I'll give you a couple of the signs. Um, we're not going to learn all of the signs because that's a lot of signs to learn. So we're going to pick and choose the um, ones that I think you guys will like. All right, so it's here comes Peter Cottontail. And usually we would fingerspell Peter and then cotton tail, but that is really <laughs> long. So for short, everybody just puts a P and a C by their uh, chest. So Peter, cotton tail. And then we're just gonna pretend that we're hopping down the bunny trail. So you can have your hand out, your fingers here, and we're gonna hop. And we know how to jump. Remember, jumping's like this. So we're gonna hop like this. Hop, hop, hop. And then it's hippity hopping, which is still hopping and then we learned easter so the letter e good easter you can shake it i think that's the easiest way to do it some people even do that but we'll just do one e and it's on its way bringing every boy this is how you do boy good and then Girl, you take your thumb and you put it down your cheek like this. So boy, girl, and then for baskets full of Easter joy, we're gonna take our hands and pretend we're building a basket just like that. So baskets full of Easter and then joy is another word for happy. So Easter happy. Good. Good watching everybody. You're doing good. <clears throat> and then things to make your Easter bright again. So we'll do Easter. And then I know sun is this. So we're just gonna pretend that the sun is for bright. I'm gonna let Miss Stephanie in. And then again, we just do this, like do it again, do it again. Good. I don't expect you guys to learn all of that, but if you feel like doing the signs while we sing, it's an option, not mandatory, obviously. So do your best. It's just kind of fun to learn a different language. That way, if you want to communicate that way, you can have that option. So let's see. I don't want to sing by myself. So if you guys want to unmute yourself, 
you can sing with me. We'll give it a try and then we'll listen to a part of the song again and then we'll call it good for today. We won't listen to the whole song. We'll just listen to the chorus. Okay. So let's practice all together. So here comes Peter Hopping Easter's on its way. I gotta let Jayla in. So bring every boy and girl. Baskets full of Easter joy. Things to make your Easter bride again. I know that's a hard one. It's a lot harder than the ones we've learned in the past. But believe it or not, there are not a lot of Easter songs out there, my friends. So this was the one we could find. So let's listen to the song, the beginning of it, one more time, and then we'll talk about today's activities, and then we will be all done after we take our picture. Okay. Here comes Peter Cottontail, hopping down the bunny trail. Hippity hoppity, Easter's on its way. Bring in every girl and boy, baskets full of Easter joy. Things to make your Easter bright and gay. I'm so used to the words now. <laughs> being so quick. It is very quick. I think I can get it to slow down. Let's slow it down and try it again. I'm going to do half the speed this time. Andrew taught me that. friends. I took away the playback speed. Okay. We're just going to do it a little slower this time. 25%. Oh, that was normal speed. I thought so. Oh, well, we did so good, you guys. Thank you for listening and watching and trying new things. Good job. <laughs> I That's nice. I promise I changed it, but it went back to normal speed. All right, Miss Kaylee, if you want to go over the uh, this week's focus for us. Sure. So this week's focus, we're going to we're kind of starting over because we have a lot of Easter themed activities. So our letter of the week is the letter C again. It's always good to review. And we're also starting a new uh, theme of the week for numbers. So this week we are gonna start on our numbers and our number of the week is going to be one. We also are going back to the circle for our shape of the week. And we're also going back to yellow for our color. Thank you. And you can see I wore a yellow sweater for you today. 
and our how we make a Y for yellow is like this. It kind of looks like a Y. Good. Yellow. And we know that letter C looks like this. Letter C. Good. Okay, and then our sign of the week. We're also going to be restarting our signs because we kind of went over the ones that I thought was the most important to know. So we're going to keep practicing them. Um, if you guys have any questions um, or if you want to know the sign for something, uh, let me know and I can definitely make a video for that. Um, so we're going to redo the sign for help because I feel like this is probably the most important sign to know. Um, so you can take the hand that you eat with um, and make it into a fist. And then you can take the other hand and put it under. The uh, closed hand goes on top and you pull it up because this hand is helping this up. So help, help. And can you guys think of a time when we can ask for help? Yeah. You guys know? Maybe when we tie our shoes. Yeah, or if we have food and we don't know how to open the bag, or if we need help opening our water, we can ask for help. So instead of getting maybe mad or uh, frustrated, we can ask for help help. Very good. And I know Michael and Ruby actually would do help, please. So very good. We can keep practicing that. Miss Maggie, if you want to talk about the duckling gets a cookie. Yes. Our story for today is about duckling gets a cookie. It's about a pigeon and a duckling. And Pigeon is always complaining why he doesn't get anything he asked for. And as you read along, you will know how Pigeon gets what he wants through using the magic words. So listen and enjoy. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And a duckling is a lot like a chick, and that's very popular in Easter. Duckling. Yes. And our friend Miss Jen wrote read a book also. Yeah. So today's uh, Spanish book is called Los Números de Lucia which is Lucia's numbers. She loses all of her numbers, so she has to take wild adventures to get each number one by one. So I hope you enjoy that. Thank you. It's a very colorful book, I like it. All right, and so after um, Zoom today, I am going to be going live. That way, if you wanna follow along with me, we are going to be doing the Y is for yellow because that is our color of the week. And we're also going to be doing our trace and write number for number one. And I understand that this might be hard for a lot of our students. So if you just want to follow along and color with me, then that's great too. If you guys just want to color the eggs, um, or you can have someone help you do hand over hand with the tracing part. All right. So after Zoom today, I'm going to be going live and feel free to join me. Um, this morning, I posted our PDF book for the day called Dinosaur Lady. And it is about a woman named Marie Anning, Mary Anning. Um, and she was the first paleontologist, which means she's like the first person to discover dinosaur bones. Out of men or women, she was the very first one. Um, so it just talks about her life and how sometimes because she's a woman, she wasn't included in things. 
Um, and I thought that was good for Women's History Month. And then there's also an audiobook option. Um, and then I also posted the number one song by the Storybots since our number of the week is one. And, um, I posted the book, Peter Cottontail. Here comes Peter Cottontail this morning. Um, so if you guys want to listen to the story, I found a woman reading it. I do not have a copy of this book, but that's the beauty of YouTube is I could find it. Um, so that's available for you also if you want to listen to the story. The video is the springtime dance with Jack Hartman. Yes, so I hope you guys enjoy that and you guys can move and groove. Um, and it will be a lot of fun. You need to make the eyes more smaller. Okay, I know. Okay. So I, as you guys know, the daily activities are available for you on you, uh, Facebook and YouTube. And we just wanted to give you guys a proper heads up that there will be no school on April 5th because April 4th is Easter. And um, so we will have no school for the Easter holiday. And then um, another just announcement, um, April 7th is going to be our next distance learning drive through. Um, so that day there will be no Zoom. Well, I see that. Because that goes from 12 to 11.30. Okay. Good job, everybody. Um, thank you for coming to school today. And thank you for being here and learning a new song with us. I know this one was a little bit harder, but we're going to do our best. Um, we just need to take our picture and we will be all done. You guys ready? One, two, three. Cheese. Three. <laughs> Good. One, two, three. Cheese. That was a better one. Thank you, everybody. We will see you tomorrow. We're going to be doing our Easter egg sun catchers, and we're going to be switching out our sensory boxes for Easter. So we will see you tomorrow. All right. Bye. We'll see you in a few minutes mm -hmm. on Facebook Live. Bye, Michael. Bye, Michael. Bye, Michael. Bye, Michael. Bye Jella. Bye, Stephanie. Jella, good to see you. Bye, Stephanie. Bye, Jella. Bye, Michael. Bye, Bye, Bye me. Hi, everybody. Bye, so, you. Um, Marie, give me about five minutes. I'm going to have a little staff meeting with my um, aide really quickly, and then I'll go live. Let's do, a, let's just make it easy and plan for 1245. All right, and I'll go live. That way I can talk to my aides real quick. Thank you, everybody. See you soon. Bye. Bye, Michael. Bye. I like your haircut. Yay, good job, buddy. <laughs>